What up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to PC Wars episode 19 where you submit your custom PC to get featured on the channel. So if you guys want to participate, you know what to do. Make sure to watch the video linked below. But without wasting any more time, let the PC Wars begin. DualSource.tech gets updated multiple times a day with a variety of tech products. So if you guys live in the US, UK and Canada and want to save money on your next purchase, consider bookmarking DualSource.tech and checking back at least once a day. As always, your five contestants for this week are Alessandro, Danielle, Evan, Jan and Mark. Congratulations for making it on the show. Starting off the show, we have a very sick PC desk build by Alessandro. He's calling it the Hell Pit, and it features two separate rigs, a gaming PC and a server PC. So the gaming PC has a 6700K and a single EVGA GTX 1080 for the win graphics card, while the server build has a 4770 and no GPU. There's also tons of storage as you can see, we have 10 terabyte of space for each rig. This would also be a perfect streaming setup if you decide to convert the second PC into an actual streaming PC. Excellent work with the cable management as well, not only do you have some sweet rigs, but you also have a pretty dope setup as well. For benchmarks, we got a score of 17,658, starting things off strong. Thank you, Alessandro, for entering. Daniel is next up with Winterfell, a gorgeous white and black build featuring the NZXT H440 case. Inside here, we have another 6700K and an ASUS Strix GTX 1070. We also have a pretty cool Game of Thrones decal in front of the case. I do like the fact that you went with custom sleeving for the motherboard 24 pin, but why didn't you replace the graphics card PCI cables too? For benchmarks, we got a score of 14,722, taking second place for this episode. Thank you, Daniel, for entering. Evan is next up with a sick black and red build inside one of my all time favorite cases from Inwin, the S frame. In here, we have the 5820K and not one or two, but three Titan X's in SLI. God damn. Such a great job with cable management and maintaining consistency with the color scheme. I also like the really cool spiral effect for the liquid in both of the reservoirs. I mean, even the ram sticks are water cooled. This is nothing short of amazing. For benchmarks, it scored a 23,031, pushing off Alessandro and taking first place for this episode. A very gorgeous build, no doubt. Thank you, Evan, for entering. Changing things up, we have Jan and this amazing white and blue PC build that he's calling Blue Dragon. In this beast, we have a 6700K, 32 gigs of Dominator Platinums, and two EVGA GTX 1080s with the EVGA SLI bridge. I definitely like what you did on the bottom. The plexi plates have this cool design that make them seem like it's cracked. And then below that, we have a few props with a rock holding one of the swords from Game of Thrones. Other mods include some custom painted fans, laser cut dragon logo in the front, and the amazing custom sleeving. For benchmarks, we got a score of 20,574, barely getting beat by Evan's PC and taking second place for this episode, but a very sexy white and build, no doubt. Thank you, Jan, for entering. Changing up the game, we have something entirely different from Mark. Now he's calling it Zeus, and it's pretty much a $50 gaming PC with a custom modded case. It has the Phenom 2 X4 940T processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and an XFX R7 265. Needless to say, the benchmarks aren't impressive, but what's impressive is the performance per dollar. This thing can get you above 60 FPS and medium to high settings in most games, according to the benchmarks. Now obviously, these are all used parts that he got on a bargain, because it's physically impossible to build a gaming PC for 50 bucks using new parts. But nonetheless, this is a very interesting build. Thank you, Mark, for entering. So that is it for this episode of PC Wars. As always, make sure you guys drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best custom PC. And as always, I'll announce the winners in a few weeks on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. So make sure you guys are following me there. It's so basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave a like if you enjoy these videos or these series. And I'll see you in the next video.